Saskatoon. Guess where we are again today? We got another gorgeous day out at the Arboretum and I have my friend, the Buffalo, to uh, back me up. That's what I'll say, back me up today. It's a beautiful day out here. It's gonna get warm, but I'm just saying, talk about you know a nature bath, but I'm gonna say, let's take a sun bath here right now. I'm gonna get some free vitamin D and I wore my Grand Canyon Tilly hat, oh yeah. Got that a couple years ago when we went to the Grand Canyon with the Grand Canyon 12 and lots of you know some of them or maybe all of them, but that was a fun trip. But this is my Zen hat. It came from Sedona, Arizona. Sedona, Arizona. Now that's got a good rhyme to it. You need that kind of Zen energy. So I totally know this hat is full of that. So we're getting some free vitamin D again right now. Looks like I'm blocking the sun. Well, I'm not, I'm capturing it right here. Sensitive area of your hands. Hands important. I'm learning about how important your eyes are. We might discuss that today. But let's just take a sun bath right now. Just, hmm. Get your feet shoulder width apart and get yourself rooted down. Come up and unlock and open your knees and level out that pelvis. Get your shoulder blades in your back pocket. Tuck your chin. Remember, it's about the breathing. We need to get our plumb line and then it's the breathing. Breathe in through your nose. And exhale through your nose if you can. And this will calm us down. As you can tell, I'm always calm, quiet, not excited, not really. Sometimes you gotta exhale through your mouth if you need to breathe out faster or more. But mostly it's about slowing down. Your lymphatic system is our sewer system and that's what we're gonna do when we do this lymphatic drainage or our sun bath. But the, that system doesn't have its own pump like the arteries and veins have your heart for a pump. So you gotta do this diaphragmatic breathing to get the fluids moving. So then we do a little soaping, pretend soaping. Down here, where your leg attaches to your body, you have lymph nodes there. So take your hand and kind of scoop up and in. Clear the path, do that on the other side. Clear the path. Take another breath. Fresh air. And I will just say this from last night and living in Muscatine, the gnats are back, and if you breathe through your mouth, you might suck some of them suckers in, so breathe through your nose. At least you'll filter them out. Let your shoulders relax. Come up here to the sternum. Clearing a path, there's a lot of lymph nodes in this area. Plus, you're kind of Massaging around your heart, giving your heart some extra, extra chi energy. Come over to where you know you have lymph nodes under here. It's like soaping it up. So soap it up and then down to this. What you're doing is showing fluids, extra fluids that your body doesn't need where it can go so it can be eliminated. Sweat, other ways things come out of you. Come up to your collarbone, flip your hand over the top, press down and scoop it out there. This to me is, I've taught this to a lot of students because it clears the way for the fresh oxygen in your blood to get to your brain and your eyes and your head. If, you, if you're tense like this, you congest the area right here. Besides that, it makes your neck stiff and you can't move very good, so clear the path. Take your hand, squeeze this big upper trap muscle or cup it. These were the original cups, I'm telling you. So lots of massage therapists, they have physical therapy people use cupping techniques, but this was the original one. So it loosens things up. Breathe again. Nice and easy. It's 
So grab a little more sun, energy. Nice. Feels so good. Vitamin D, very important. Okay, let's try a little chi gathering. I like an easy one. Inhaling and then exhaling. Ooh, there's a blue jay over there. You didn't think there was too much color out here right now besides green, but if you look around, the birds will show you there's a little color. A lot of you are bird watchers. You can squat, stoop here a little bit, so you can exercise your legs while you're doing this. You can pretend you have a bucket. Go fill it, bring it over your head, and you can take a little shower. Shower it down, pretend. Today it's a sun bath. You can have twinkly fingers. Relax your fingers, that's why I'm doing it because sometimes my fingers just wanna be stiff. Take all the energy you want. Mother Nature has plenty to give. Ah, you know, you could just do that and that you'd be golden for quite some time through your day. Think about the simple things you can do to kick back, take a breath, relax yourself. And the, the other um, medical fact is if you breathe through your nose, it triggers your vagus nerve, which is the longest nerve runs through your body, and that helps trigger your diaphragm, so that's another reason to breathe through your nose. And it will clear your sinuses, believe it or not. Okay, get your heels together, toes apart. Let's see, it's Friday. Maybe we want a delicious scone and there's some great coffee shops in this town that have good fun things like that to enjoy. Sometimes Friday is treat day, so treat yourself, treat your coworkers, treat your family, treat your friends. Okay, I'm shifting my weight so I can find that spot in the center of my foot where I wanna anchor myself down, root myself down like some of these awesome trees here. Come up to your knees. You're gonna unlock and open those guys because these inner thigh muscles, if you've been sitting, working, or you know, just sleeping, your legs have been together, and so these muscles here get stiff and tight, and they actually, if they get too tight, can trigger back pain. So roll them out. Pelvic tilt, or another way of thinking of is if there's a, you have a root from your tailbone and you want that, that to be grounded more, down into the center of the earth. So do it that way. You don't do anything too ballistic in Tai Chi. Come up to your shoulders. Sometimes you need to circle your shoulders and find that good, you know, and pull your shoulder blades together, stretch these muscles in the front because they get really stiff and tight for lots of us. And then when you find that place, pull your shoulder blades down into your back pockets. Tuck your chin. Because if you wear glasses or you've been on your, on your phone or your computer or reading a nice book, your head will go forward and then that tightens these muscles up. So you want to tuck it back, tuck your chin down, and then look. <laughs> I have told a lot of the uh, athletic uh, runners in this town to focus, focus, focus. So stretch your neck like you have a golden cord being pulled up this way. So you've got a anchor root from your tailbone down to the center of the earth, and you've got this cord going clear up there. That, if that doesn't give you some traction through your spine, I don't know what would. Okay, we've got our plumb line. I know, you think I'm forgetting about Tai Chi. This is the basics. If you don't get the basics right, well, you're missing the boat. So now let's breathe again, nice and easy. Empty it out, use that transverse abdominal muscle, that belt, to squeeze it out. Number two.
Relax your arms down. Okay, get your sh feet shoulder width apart. Get yourself rooted. And now we're gonna wrap ourselves around a tree. We're actually gathering some more energy, chi. You guys have helped me calm down already. Good thing we took our sun bath. Now, now the kids are coming out. Okay, our transition, like we learned last time, sink, and then we're gonna pivot on our right heel, but our body's gonna pivot with our heel. Sink down onto your right foot and then slow as you can, pick up your foot, anchor it down with your heel, and then bring yourself back, your foot and your body together so you don't twist your back. I'm kind of thinking about backs today because almost all of us have had a backache at some time or another. <clears throat> to our wrist press and I was just sharing earlier this morning that I just read that all back pain starts with tension in your eyes did you know that I didn't know that I learned that through another Tai Chi course I just recently took so you got to learn to relax your eyes learn to smile with your eyes Here's our ward off, nice and easy. Wrist press and sink back. Push and step forward. Straighten yourself up again. Sometimes gravity kind of pulls you down. Reminding you to take some breaths. Nice and easy, relax your fingers. Sink down, we're gonna do the repulsing the monkey. Remember, I'm gonna do it in segments here. Bend your elbow, flip your hand, and push. And if you watch your hands with your eyes, now you're learning how to relax your eyes, which, well, you guys can tell me sometime if you see me, if it worked to help relax your back. Now don't twist your back as you're doing this one. You have to sink down from one leg to the other. So I'm now on my right foot and don't overstretch. Your body will let you go where it can, when it can. And now I'm sinking down over on my left foot and I play a little game with myself. I look and see the first time or two where my hand can point to behind me. And then as I do this, a few repetitions, I look and see if I can actually see a little bit further around. And most of the time you can because your body has relaxed with your movements. So that's why they call this form of exercise a dynamic stretch. Really, you could get by with just like three repetitions of most of these things, but it feels so nice out here today. I'm kind of getting carried away. I guess you're going to go with me. Cloud hands. I would gather that we might yeah, just have just a couple of little wispy clouds today, but there's not many clouds out here. Let your shoulders relax. Remember, this routine's only less than five minutes. Everybody needs to give themselves five minutes just for yourself. Straightening back up, single whip. Pinch. Don't have too many scones or you'll feel more pinching power there. Okay, stepping forward slowly, but spout goes down. Step forward, the handle goes up. I'm gonna step back because I'm on a little bit of an incline here. Now, snake slides down. Remember, tuck your chin and curl down. Let that snake go and follow him with his, your hands and just kind of move him on. <laughs> That's what I would do. Okay, anchoring down, golden pheasant stands on one leg. I'm gonna have to see 
if that's true, when I look at my mom's kind of wild pet pheasant out there, if it actually does stand on one leg. Again, you can follow your hand with your eyes, sink back and down, get rooted. Golden pheasant now standing on the right leg. And again, if you're not ready for this balance point, you can just be on your toe or forefoot and you can just exercise like this. Perfectly fine. This is your exercise. Just because I do it this way doesn't mean you have to. Step back, cross your hands, sink down, dancing crane. I love this one. I think I'm a little dramatic at times. Maybe not even a little. Sink down. All right. Softball coming at you. I'm going to mix it today. An overhand and an underhand. Tossing somebody a ball. Maybe a different kind of a yard sport. There's so many cool games like bags and bochi ball, croquet. Our family always likes, well, that doesn't, that doesn't sound nice, but we call it killer croquet, but this is Tai Chi, so we won't say that. Sink back, whoops. See, I got, see? You can't do it that way. You have to be calm. Sink back, pivot out, step forward, downward punch. Punch, fruit punch, that sounds good today. Cross your hands, follow them with your eyes so you can relax and remember you're stretching your muscles around your eyeballs. Open up, heels together. You know it, you gotta give yourself that hug. Open up. Today I'm, giving, I'm conducting a symphony of all these birds chirping around here. And we close it off. And of course, it's always thank you in any language. Thank you. <laughs> that was delightful for me. I hope it was for you. Okay, so now let's do it in that quiet, peaceful way where I'm not jabbering at you. And just enjoy whatever you see, whatever you feel. Use all the senses that you can to taste, touch, smell the beauty around you right now. Heels together, feet wedged open, sink in, up to the knees, unlock and open, tilt, or pull that tail down into the ground, shoulder blades back in your pocket, tuck your chin, stretch your neck, three nice belly breaths. Relax your shoulders. Let your elbows sink down. Let's begin.
Namaste. Thank you. I want to thank my co-producers, Molly, the big yellow lab. She gave me backup support along with my buffalo friend. Hey, you guys get out there and enjoy this beautiful day, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.